Hi everybody, Space Junkie 79 here. I do hope you're all keeping well. So just while we make our way to our ship, I just want to say uh, a huge thank you to all the support. Uh, it's been absolutely brilliant. Um, the subscriptions coming in and everything, obviously at such a early stage and obviously the channel, uh, it is massively appreciated. So guys, thank you, thank you for all the support you've given me so far. It's been It's been phenomenal. So as you can probably tell, Today's video is all going to be about salvage. So I did treat myself to uh, the salvage ship, uh, the Vulture. Unfortunately, it is not available in game to buy at this moment in time. Uh, it is a bit of a shame and I really hope it is available soon. It is a fun uh, game loop. Um, but at the moment, it's, it's a, at the time of recording this video, uh, the ship cost me £175. Uh, it's, you know, it's just... One of those things at the minute it, it's it's a shame but it will be coming in obviously i'm sure very very shortly in terms of obviously a ship that you can actually buy in game so at this moment in time it is something you will have to purchase uh, out of your, your hard-earned pennies um but it is a fun game loop it is quite relaxing um so it's just yeah you know i, I like it i personally whenever i'm doing a bit of salvage and that sort of stuff i would go out and literally have some music on in the background and just just enjoy it it's, it's just it's good fun and you can actually make uh, some very very good money from it it's, it is very very profitable as well uh, so we've had a little scan around the ship there are two entry points obviously you've got the ladder here and go in the door just at the side there or you can go in the back of the ship here a little out ramp access so let's open that so in the back here we can close the door just here. Lights on and off. Now, when you first do uh, your salvage contract, or if you're going to go out and try and find some salvage in the verse and that sort of thing, this is where obviously all the boxes and stuff come out from. You want to make sure that this is ticked, because then obviously it will automatically send the box out of here uh, and then obviously when the next box is ready, unfortunately, you have to come down the stairs, transport it across onto the grid. Now, you can fill up this side as well. You don't have to stick to obviously just the actual grid on the side there. But I'll, uh, I'll cover that obviously once we get started and obviously we start filling the, uh, the ship with boxes and that sort of stuff. If you do forget a multi-tool, don't panic. You can come here and you can create a multi-tool. All right. So, oh, wrong button. So you, sorry, you can create a multi-tool. So you literally click create, it starts spinning around and a multi-tool will come out of the drawer just down here, which you grab. And then the only other bit you need will obviously be the tractor beam attachment. And obviously you need to click create for that as well. Now, the only downside of that is it will cost you your obviously your cargo that obviously you've scraped off that next ship. So just bear that in mind. So always do come out, bring a multi-tool attachment with yourself and the multi-tool. So here is our quarters so just in here i don't know if these lights can come on oh the lights must be on there we go that's better so here we are here's our little co cabin quarters obviously so again you do have a bed to sleep in a few component accesses and that sort of stuff uh, i think this is the, the toilet facility just in here and shower oh no bit of storage there you go more quantum drives actually has a gun rack on here which is quite nice some ships actually don't here's our restroom there you go. Nice little shower. I have to crouch down to get in that. Bit of a bang our head getting in there. Uh, and yeah, and then obviously the rest. Hopefully, eventually, they will obviously bring in the bits and pieces where we can obviously make drinks and food and all that sort of stuff. Here is our seat. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to get myself in the pilot seat. I'm going to get us outside of the station. And then obviously we're going to look at selecting a contract. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So I'll see you all very, very shortly. Okay, so we just come up our hangar. So what we can do is we can obviously go into our Moby glass uh, and we can obviously look at selecting a mission. Uh, so if we go to our contracts manager, look at salvage. Uh, now, obviously, what you want to be careful of, these can be all over the place. So just make sure if you're not picking one that's too far away. So if you're not sure, obviously, just flick through them and obviously just go to your skyline. And just sort of try and pick out the ones that are nearest to you. So what we had back there was uh, a 315P, which is a Crew L4, Pearl L4, 
a Mick L3 and a Arc L3. So let's have a look. Uh, 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 uh. So none of them are particularly close to us. So Hurl L4 will probably be the quickest one to get to, which is this one. Now you've got to pay a fee of a thousand uh, Alpha UEC to obviously get the rights to that. Um, so let's go and do this 300i. Make sure obviously you are contracted to the mission. And make sure you're tracking it, which we are. And what it should do, it should give us a jump point. So let's go to that. We're going to select Parallel 4 as our actual destination. There we go. Set route. Let ourselves spool up. Let's get on our way. Okay, guys, so we've literally just jumped to Hurl L4, making our way to our salvage claim. Turn that off. Now, be careful when you're approaching these. Um, it can be a little bit hard to judge the distance of the arms. They are deceptively long. So always just, again, whenever you're approaching a target, Make sure you stay off of center. Don't fly directly at it. And look, look at that. As we're approaching it, this here is actual salvage that we can also pick up. So we can obviously get double bubble here. So we've got our salvage contract just there. And we can also pick these up. So I'm not sure what sort of signature these give. I don't know if we'll be able to pick this up here. No. So what we do is we can obviously have a go at Picking the actual uh, scrap off of these. So what we need to do to get our lasers out. Let's get rid of the scanner. We'll push M to bring them out. Uh, and as you can see. So at the minute. We're obviously. We're still controlling our ship with our mouse. And all that sort of stuff. So wherever we go. You can use gimbal mode. So if you push G. It pretty much locks on. To where you're actual. Uh, you're looking. And then you just literally move the mouse. And then you can actually go around the panel itself. So it's a, it's a lot easier. Uh, if you use your right mouse button, you can actually change the type of extraction. So you've got a cinch scraper and an uh, arabde, I think that is, scraper. So you can literally go between the two. So you've got one with a 1.5 diameter, a 0.6 speed, and a 0.85 uh, efficiency. So if I just scroll in here, this is where we're looking on the left-hand side, so I should have told you that bit. So that's we right-click again. This will take us to the next one. Zoom in again. So the diameter of this one is 3.50 to 0.14 speed and efficiency of 0.76. So, again, it's entirely up to you which one you use. For the big panels, I normally use the 3.5 meter diameter. So we're just going to move ourselves in a little bit closer. And as you can see, just down here, you've got a distance to target. Okay. So once you're happy with your distance, left click. And we start extracting now. What's happening is you've got the two circles in between the two arms. And that is literally telling you how much metal or how much scrapage is left on that. So as we're going through, you can see it. Circle opens up. There's nothing left there for us to pick up. And it's literally just a case of going around the panel bit by bit. And as you can see, if you go off it, it literally just uh, goes like that. So a bit like uh, using the car wash, the old jet wash. So literally just go around each panel, take your time, try and get it all in one sweep. Makes it a little bit easier rather than having to keep going back on yourself. And what we do is, there you go, that's our first box full. And what you've got is, you've got a filler station just here. And it tells you, obviously, that that cargo is ejecting. This bit on the right-hand side is telling you how much scrape, scrapage, if you like, is left on that panel. So we've still got 86% left on here to scrape. This is obviously the cargo. So obviously, as we're scraping, this bar will fill up. And when it gets to one SCU, that'll be full. 
you need to stop because it, all you're doing then is you're just wasting obviously all the bits and pieces you're still trying to pick up as soon as that says it's eject or full stop scraping let it eject and then go again guys okay and you can do two boxes before you have you have to go down and move it i'll show you what i mean by move the box So now it's obviously saying it's full. It's saying it's obstructed. So what we need to do is we need to get out of the seat. We need to go into the back of the actual ship itself and move the box out of the way. So why? Get ourselves out. Doors should automatically open. Jump down the ladder. And here we go we've got a box which is in the way and it's stopping the next one from going out so we're going to use our extraction sorry not extraction our multi-tool move it out the way and then this one should eject here we go click the button like that I'm going to stack that one on top of it let's get ourselves back up and we carry on scraping those panels okay so we're back to our panel let's scrape some more so it is definitely worth checking all the way around your stations and that sort of stuff because you will find panels like this just floating around everywhere and it is surprising just how quick they fill the ship up and as we're going through you can see now that the panel has actually turned yellow which means that obviously the amount of material left on there to scrape is obviously getting is smaller it eventually it will go red which tell you obviously it's uh, down to a certain percentage so we keep going and what i'll do is i will bring you guys back in obviously once uh, the panel has obviously changed to a red color so you can see exactly what i'm talking about so i'll see you guys in a sec Okay, guys, just to let you know that the panel pretty much turned red when we got it down to just above 30%. So, yeah, so it will go red, obviously, with um, once it's decreased and there's not a lot left on there for you to actually continue scraping off. So I've uh, actually done a few more boxes. I'll take you down in a second. So obviously this is uh, another time that we need to go jump out of our seat. And it literally is, guys, just a case of repeat repeat scrape repeat run down move the boxes and that is pretty much salvage for you um it can be quite a profitable game loop uh, especially when you come across things like this uh and i'm literally going to show you how you fill up the uh vulture as well it's actually maximum capacity you, these are the cargo grids just down here which obviously you can see that these automatically want to lock into by going purple but what you can actually do is you stack them all up side by side you can get a lot more in here so we will keep going and we'll keep scraping these panels and I'll bring you back in once obviously we've scraped a few more. So I'll see you in a bit. So we're still scraping away and believe it or not, the amount of boxes we've got filled up in here, two, four, six, eight now, that is all off that one panel. So it just goes to show you can fill the boxes, fill the ship up very, very quickly. And as I say, chances are we're probably not even going to need that ship. So, I will continue scraping. I'll bring you back in once again. Uh, once we've filled. Another point I just uh, thought of, guys. If you don't use gimbal mode, and obviously you're just using your mouse and the ship to actually go around and scrape the holes and that sort of stuff, what will happen is if I take G off the gimbal mode, when you go to get out of your seat, sometimes you'll move the mouse and all of a sudden your ship will be, start spinning around and around and around. So obviously if you do use the gimbal mode, to push G again, actually locks... The ship in that position so every time you get out in and out your seat you're not going to come back and find your ship spinning all over the place that's just something i thought of anyway leave me to scrape I'll see you in a bit okay guys so that was not quite enough to fill up our ship so we're now actually just making our way to the actual salvage itself um so we're head there we're scrape that ship and then obviously we're head back in probably to okay so here we are at our ship we're just obviously going to scrape all the hull with this poor 300i. 
Um, yeah, I, you can obviously get the weapons off these ships and that sort of stuff, but because we've got so much cargo on board, um, it's, it's just not really worth it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to concentrate on obviously filling our hull with as much salvage as we can. So once I've scraped this, guys, I'll bring you back. And then obviously we'll make our way down, sell our goods, and see how much sort of profit we make on a full load. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Hi guys, so I've just finished uh, scraping the 300i. Uh, I've just gone down and mo moved the last box. We've got 16 boxes all together with obviously those panels that we found, as well as this 300i. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump us to a TDD. Uh, and I'll bring you back in once we're in a position to sell the boxes. You can see our profit. See you in a sec. Just so I'll bring you back in, guys. Uh, just flying into Lawville. Uh, I love the visuals of this. Uh, of Lawville itself. Really is a quite a feat, I think. The new outline and that sort of stuff. And it really does set it off when it's at night as well. So I'm just going to keep quiet. And we'll uh, make our way in. Okay, so we're landed. We're now obviously going to go and store our ship. All in one piece, which is always good. So what I do, I'm going to store the ship, guys. I will bring you when we are at the TDD, so you can also look at the profit we made with our 16 boxes. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, guys, we've uh, just made it to the Hurston District, Business District. So I'm just going to go to uh, one of the monitors and see what sort of money we can make from these boxes. So let's go to our Drake Vulture. So 16 boxes, as you can see. So we've got 77,000 there. Accept that and another six boxes there for 46,000. So we'll sell that as well.
Okay, so for our 16 boxes, uh, we had 77,046,000, so rough maths, I think that's uh, about 123,000 there, but I tell you what, let's just double check our math. So yeah, 123,000 there, guys, in under an hour. So it, yeah, salvage is, you know, very, very profitable. Uh, we did get a little bit lucky, obviously, with finding those extra panels and that sort of stuff. Um, but obviously, you know, that contract cost us a grand. So again, it's always worth doing a little scan around when obviously you head to one of those little salvage contracts, especially near one of uh, the stations, because nine times out of ten, you, you will find panels like that. And obviously, you know, it's just a very, very good way of bumping up your money. So in under an hour, we just made ourselves 122,000 Alpha UEC, which is a, is a nice little profit. Uh, and obviously, you know, it is disappointing that the Vulture is not available to purchase in games yet. Um, it does cost £175 um, if you wanted, obviously, uh, you know, at the time recording this video to be able to do some salvage contracts. But hopefully, uh, Star Citizen CRG will obviously eventually put the Vulture in games as a purchasable product. But at the minute, just so you know, you will have to purchase that ship. So, guys, thank you once again for watching. Thank you for all the comments, all the subscriptions. All, obviously, the love that you keep sending our way. It's been absolutely brilliant. And I do really, really appreciate everything you, uh, you, know, you guys are doing for me. Do keep the comments coming in because I do enjoy it. Uh, and, yeah, thanks again, guys. And uh, I will see you very, very soon. Thank you very much. And bye for now.